What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we are doing a voiceover to a Elite Trader Box open of Hidden Fates where we got another card that we needed for our Hidden Fates Master Sets. Which one will it be? We'll see. Alright, so it is New Year's Eve, and I do want to wish everyone a fun and safe New Year's. Um, and we had an amazing 2019 on this channel, and it's all thanks to you viewers, so thank you so much. Um, I'm very much looking forward to 2020 and excited to see if we can't make this channel grow even bigger. I also want to take this time to give you an idea of what kind of stuff you can expect in 2020 for the I Want a Turtle channel. Um, we can kind of look at these as goals or resolutions for the channel for the new year. Alright, so these first two we kind of mentioned earlier in the week. Uh, and the first one being that we are definitely going to complete this Hidden Fates Master Set. Even if we can't pull all the cards, which is unlikely with all like the full art supporters and the gold cards, but we're definitely going to do it one way or another. Um, so definitely stay tuned for more updates on that and a binder with every of the all the shiny cards, full art supporters, and gold cards as well. Second one that we mentioned last time was we are going to be much better about posting on our Instagram. I mentioned I asked uh, I mentioned a lot to follow us on Instagram, but I'm not that good at posting there, so. Come 2020, we're going to have regular updates on our Instagram feed. So, uh, yeah, if you're not already following, stay uh, link down below. And, um, yeah, hasn't been updated in a while, but 2020, it will be. Next one is to continue to expand on the competitive content that we have on this channel. You know, uh, especially in line with our Twitch and YouTube streams that we've been doing lately. Uh, it's just been so much fun to play the competitive uh, and get a good feel for you know the constantly changing meta and trying to stay up to date and it's been so much fun doing that uh, I've only done a few deck profiles here and there but I kind of want to keep up to date on the the newest decks and try to innovate add a little bit of our own spice to it uh, put a little bit flair and figure out some potentially some new strategies and you know put out some more deck profiles for that kind of stuff um, you know and also you know, we've been trying to create, I've been trying to at Lee try to record some matches and create videos for you guys. Uh, it's been a real struggle. I think, not sure I have the right equipment to do the recording. Last time I managed to do it, but the camera was just shaking, maybe just because it's just like a regular table. Um, and it was just moving around too much. It almost felt like I was watching like, on a roller coaster or something. So that didn't really pan out. Uh, but I do eventually want to solve that problem. And keeping along the competitive theme, I definitely want to start attending some real competitive events. While we have been going to league, that's more of a casual um, casual environment where you just kind of do whatever you want to do. There's a lot of training and stuff that goes on. Uh, but I do want to start attending some actual, you know, the challenges and kind of stuff. Uh, and kind of want to start right away because come, I believe, in May, of next year the regionals will be taking place in upstate new york very close to where i'm from so that's one tournament that we definitely want to be there for and it's going to be a huge tournament so i want to be comfortable in a competitive environment by that time so we're going to try to start right off the bat uh come early 2020 and uh, yeah, so we'll probably be at that event uh, just in case anyone was ever considering attending that thing. Uh, I think it would be awesome to meet some of you guys IRL. Uh, so I'm sure I'll mention that as we get closer to that event. Uh, the next two are kind of along the side of the collector side of me. Um, I think collector is kind of like where I started and then we started doing a lot more openings uh, for the channel and I kind of want to have a more balanced approach going forward where we have uh you know just some you know not just the most recent sets but some of the older stuff you know i'm big into vintage collections and i want to start building out some of the uh older sets i think i do have binder collections for everything up to well not all like the first edition ones uh but kind of starting in that neo era going forward um the e-reader stuff start building out those binder collections and eventually psa eventually and then the next one is second to last one is start submitting 
to PSA. I've been saying this for, I don't know, most of 2019 that I'm going to do it. Uh, the tricky thing has just been on the financial side. It's pretty expensive to send there and I do have so many cards. I'll probably have to do bulk orders, which means you have to send a lot of cards and it's going to take a while. So that part of the channel won't be starting anytime soon. Once we send off the cards, it might take months for it to get back, but eventually we will start having uh, P our PSA episodes where we get our returns in. So that's another thing to look forward to and lastly i want to make sure i keep a good pulse on our growing community and what you all like about the channel and strive to constantly improve the content on the channel with that in mind if you have any suggestions for the new year please let me know in a comment down below to be honest i kind of make up most of the stuff that we do on the fly and i'm not the most creative person to begin with so i totally would love to hear what your own thoughts are all right, I think that's going to be it for my spiel for today. But once again, hope everyone has a fun and safe New Year's Eve. Thank you all so much for all the support on the channel. And here's to another great year. All right, I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you all in 2020.